Hey guys, it is me, Eminem Shervez, and today we're going to be doing a whole entire short episode review and my thoughts of the brand new Hell of a Boss episode being season 2, episode 6, oop. Okay, so first I want to talk about how this is of course going to have spoilers for the episode. Second of all, I'm not going to cover anything deep and do a whole entire analysis. I'm going to give, a, you know, just my opinions and thought about the episode and not talking about any of the drama that recently been happening, just my opinion on the episode, story, animation, and just like the length of the episode and how everything smoothly played out. So first of all, the episode de definitely had a lot more fizzerali. And I gotta say, after the finale episode, or the, I guess the part one of the finale episode of season one, I really did like Fizzarali's character. I want to learn more about it. And this episode did a great job about that. Okay, I just wanna say right here, guys, this animation isn't of course like the nicest in lighting, like, I feel like we've seen better episodes with the nice lighting, but this episode did have a lot of smooth moments. And I gotta say, this episode is 27 minutes long. And well, when it comes to animation, it's around 26 minutes of animation with like one minute and a half of credits or like two minutes of credits. So I gotta say, it's one of the longest, if not probably the longest episode in Hello Boss. That's great. The animation is smooth, great times. The background's amazing. I gotta say, the animation is A tier. It is great. It is amazing or S tier, whatever you call it, the best one. So that's out of the way. Let's go and actually talk about you know, like we said the story it has different characters that we want to see a lot more of like you know striker fizzarali i'm sorry i forgot this guy's name but he's here sorry guys oh, i know like the fans are screaming at me anywho blitz and fizzarali meets again and you already know they have their differences that we did not know why but in this episode they finally go and actually talk about that after getting kidnapped by striker of course oh if i think that Mo asmodeus had I, I almost forgot that anywho asmodeus is back on his job doing some s sussy work and also before we find that out we also know Osmodius and Fizzarali actually like each other but you know they don't want to actually say or make it official yet so they're still trying to hide it but at the end of the episode spoilers alert you know they of course just let everyone in the building know but of course he said they they know they'll keep their secret or else you know that they would probably die but then we can actually see here Stolas actually comes in here talking about his issue with the Blitz talking about you know how he wants to talk about things stuff like that and also want to give him a crystal so he doesn't need the book anymore of course, that's kind of like the side story. Until we find out they're both kid kidnapped and he gets extremely mad if it's Riley's kidnapped. We're not mad. We're angry at him for kidnapping him, you know? After this, we have some banter back and forth where Blitz is waiting for Fizzarelli to say that he needs his help just to finally break out, showing that he actually had a plan and just wanted to say that he needed his help. After that, we got some, you know, smooth fighting as they talk talking about the drama. Until we finally learn the truth. We finally learn that Blitzo actually liked Fizzarelli and had a little note for him, but then Fizzarelli actually thinks that he blew up in flames the whole entire tent, making Fizzarelli lose his arms and legs and being all blown up the reason why he has mechanical arms and limbs now, but he keeps blaming I mean, that was him leaving him alone in the dust even though what really happened was blitz kind of hit this another imp that had a candle of cake that actually made everything burst into flames so when fizzarelli went to go i mean when blitz went to go help him to find help you know he left and didn't come back and that's why blitz accepts what he did but he told him that you're not the only one that lost things in the fire and of course when they say that line you see a family photo with the mom's uh, face getting covered in fire and he said not you're not the only one that lost something in the fire showing that probably his mom was the one that died and i say probably because he knows it could do some twists and say oh it was a sister instead of just getting the sister's life really know of course, the mom probably died here, and this, I keep saying probably, because I don't want to, like, get, like, it's, you know, the next episode comes out, and they're like, boom, ha, got him, but yes, of course, it looks like the mom died here, and it never brought up in that, and he seems perfectly fine, like everyone said, like, he doesn't seem that hurt, but even though he definitely does, he was crying, so like that, but I gotta say here, that was a big drop that I did not expect to see this episode. So for Ransom, of course, they actually made Asmodeus go and actually sign some things with, you know, Solus actually went and started reading all the documents being another, you know, B plot for this episode. But at the end of the day, you know, they all come back safe. And I got to say, it was really interesting. And they both re re reunite. He saves him again. It's just, I gotta say, good. I really do love it. I was about to say great, but like, definitely the pacing at the end felt a little bit off. And also, they had another song, musical moment, which I felt was totally unneeded. But it's hell of a boss. They've been doing that in almost every episode now. And of course, Fizzarelli decides to actually give him the crystal, saying that he kind of deserved it. Because, you know, if it wasn't for Blitz, I feel like Fizzarelli would have definitely been toasted. And that was the end of the episode. So now, let me just say, first of all, guys, this is definitely on my top list of one to two best episodes of the season. I gotta say, the first, I feel like I did 
did like the first two-ish episodes, but I gotta say this episode was really good. It wasn't just extremely long. It also filled in a lot of the little like gaps that we needed to understand. There's a good A and somewhat interesting B plot. And I gotta say here, of course, everything really checks out. It was definitely a lot more interesting than the last episode. I gotta say guys, I did not really enjoy the last episode that much. This episode definitely made it up. And I hope episode seven is gonna be really interesting because who knows, episode, you know, seven to eight or even nine might be the last one of the season so who knows but definitely with season two having lots of down episodes i could definitely say that this episode was great and it was definitely worth a watch even if it had lots of sussy moments in it let me know in the comments below what you guys do think about it and yeah nothing else really much to say peace out see you in the next episode